which external hard drive to choose. An external hard drive, also called a portable hard drive, is a type of storage device that connects to a computer or other device from the outside, rather than being installed inside the device itself. They are very popular for increasing the storage space on your computer without having to change anything inside the computer. They are also very convenient for carrying around large amounts of data between different computers and for storing backups of data. So when it comes to deciding on which external hard drive to get for your computer, there are many factors to consider, like the brand of the company that produces the hard drive. Do they have a good reputation for being reliable and long-lasting, and that their products work well? I've always been a fan of Western Digital products, but I've heard good things about Seagate and Toshiba external hard drives too. Then there is the price, because you have to look at your budget and how much you can spend to determine what you can afford. And you may need to consider if your hard drive comes with extra software. Some products come with encryption and backup software for added security and convenience. But this is depending on what you want to use your external hard drive for. But there are three main factors that I look at when deciding on which external hard drive to get. The first main factor is storage capacity, or what people refer to when they say the size of your hard drive. We aren't talking about the actual physical dimensions of the device, but how much space the device can hold. It's very possible to get an external hard drive with a larger storage capacity than your actual computer, especially when it comes to storing large amounts of multimedia files. These files are becoming larger and larger because the quality of the video and audio files have significantly increased. It's not just high definition any longer, but ultra high definition. Many people are using external hard drives to back up their multimedia files or archive them. So when it comes to the storage capacity, you may see ones advertised with 500 gigabytes or 750 gigabytes. These are just estimates, but a 500 gigabyte hard drive could probably store about 100,000 music files, about 550 standard definition movies, about 150 high definition movies, and about 60 ultra high definition movie files. So that's why it's best to start looking at hard drives with capacities measured in terabytes. A terabyte is about 1,000 gigabytes, so that's double the numbers we mentioned here. And what about two or four terabyte hard drives? So really think about how much space you need now and in the future. The second factor is the speed and interface of the connection. The interface refers to the connection type used to connect the portable hard drive to your computer. The most commonly used connection is USB, but there are different types of USB and this can determine the speed of the connection. When transferring large files, you really want a connection speed that is fast as possible. Older external hard drives may have USB 2 connections, but this is old and slow at about 60 megabytes per second. That 90 megabyte movie will take about 15 seconds to transfer. Most external hard drives make use of USB 3 now. There are different versions of USB 3 and they start transferring files at about 625 megabytes per second. But more recent versions are even faster. That 900 megabyte movie is now being transferred in less than a second and a half. You can identify a USB 3 USB port or USB connector as most of them are marked with a blue plug or blue connector. And they also have the SS or super speed icon marked on them. Some computers will have multiple USB ports, but not all are USB 3. It's best to connect your USB 3 hard drive to your super speed USB ports. Otherwise, the transfer speeds will be at USB 2 speeds. Rather plug your wireless mouse to the USB 2 ports because speed isn't that big an issue there. Some hard drives have USB-C connections, which is designed for smaller mobile devices like tablets or certain phones. They can produce speeds of over 2,500 megabytes per second. If you want to connect these devices, then make sure the external hard drive you buy has a Type-C cable. They will probably come with a Type-C to normal USB connection or the Type-A one so that you can connect to a computer or laptop but the other cable will let you connect it to a tablet. But remember that most external hard drives need power from the device you are connected to so it will use up the battery power of your mobile device very quickly. Newer external hard drives may start coming out with USB 4 in the future, which will be even faster. So make sure you know what connection type your external hard drive will have. Make sure it can connect to your computing device and that you connect it to the correct part of your computer to make use of the fastest transfer speeds possible. And then the third factor is whether you want a 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch external hard drive. What is the difference? This specification doesn't just refer to the physical size of the hard drive, but also how the hard drive is powered. 2.5 inch hard drives are smaller and more portable, and they come with one cable that connects the external hard drive to the computer. The external hard drive is powered by the USB port, just like when you connect your flash drive or your phone. You should notice your phone starts charging when you connect to your computer's USB port. 
but external hard drives require significantly more power than a flash drive. So some tablets or TVs may not be able to generate enough power to support a connection to a 2.5 inch external hard drive. And if you're using a hard drive on a laptop that's not plugged in, then it's best to copy the data over to the computer as the hard drive will use up battery power faster if you keep the hard drive plugged in. A 3.5 inch hard drive offers more storage space for the same price, but are bulkier and require more power. They come with a similar cable to connect to the computing device, but there is also another cable which will be needed to be plugged into a power outlet for electricity. 2.5 inch hard drives are more mobile, powered by the USB port only, tend to be quieter and produce less heat and are more shock resistant, but they have smaller capacities considering the price and may have slower read write times. 3.5 inch hard drives have more storage space considering the price, generally have faster read write times and can come with extra features like RAID support, but they are bulkier and less portable as they need an additional external power source. So if you're going to use an external hard drive in places without plugs while traveling by plane, then go with the 2.5 inch version. But if it will stay in relatively one place with access to a power outlet, like always connected to your TV, then a 3.5 inch may be better. So consider these three main factors, the type of hard drive, the interface and speed of the connection, and the storage capacity when buying a new one. And hopefully you'll pick the right external hard drive just for you. We release a new video every Thursday at 3, so click on the subscribe button and check out our videos on TikTok at Mr. Long Education and share us with your friends so that we can help them as well. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.